welcome back to Beauty Therapy with Gen X. My name is Jennifer Massad. I am your hostess and I am your beauty therapist. In today's tip of the week, I've brought in my dear friend, Michelle Routon, who's also my nurse practitioner to help with my beauty therapy clients. Before I get started, if you like the videos, you like the channel, you like what we're talking about, don't forget to help the channel by liking, sharing, and don't forget to hit subscribe. All right, this week's tip. We brought in Michelle for a lot of reasons and we're gonna to talk to her a lot more, but today we're gonna to talk about the top three medications that a lot of us are taking, but we may not realize they are greatly affecting our skin. And as we know, skin is the largest organ in the body. It's gonna show inflammation before anything else and if your face is not in check, you are not going to look flawless in that makeup. So Michelle, before we get started, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am a nurse practitioner. I am trained in functional medicine, which functional medicine looks at what is actually wrong with the person that we can fix rather than just using a band-aid like a medication to tell the mm -hmm. body to shut up, essentially. So I'm always looking at what is the body trying to say, what can we do to fix it and actually fix and reverse um, health problems and move on with a good life. I love it. It's a very similar way that we treat beauty therapy because makeup can only do so much. If you're not coming to the table and committing to your half of the end, there's only so much I can do, like I said, to make you look flawless. Hashtag Insta face. No, we're not doing that. So, so Michelle, tell us what are the top three medications that a lot of us take that we don't realize are bugging our face. So the three, three of the biggest medications are cholesterol medications. Most people know those as statins or Lipitor. Okay. Um, and those are medications that stop you from absorbing cholesterol, from making your own cholesterol, or having you get rid of your cholesterol, which cholesterol is important because it's the precursor to all of your hormones all of your cells, your brain is 60% fat, oh, wow. breast milk is 56% fat, the most perfect food there is, like we need fat, okay? And acids, okay. okay, and so that's for heartburn and things like that, and people don't realize, they're, it hurts, they mm -hmm. take their tums, it cuts the acid out, the next time they go to eat, they don't have enough acid to break down their food, like their fats and their proteins to assimilate them, to make your skin beautiful, they're very problematic. Mm. And then antihistamines like allergy medications very much dry you out, bring your hydration status down, and all of those things affect your skin. And I will say, as a makeup artist, um, again, I was blessed with our friendship because I was experiencing things uh, with clients in my chair. And again, part of my job is to have to prep the skin, but if the skin that I'm dealing with has issues, um, there's only so much that I can do right then and there to fix it. Mm -hmm. And Michelle's knowledge has been so helpful because for my own health and for y'all, because these things are showing up on your face when I'm trying to work on you. Mm -hmm. So whenever I book my brides in advance, perfectly three to six to nine months, we've got time to manage not the symptoms, but to treat the body as a whole, thanks to Michelle being part of the team. And it makes the biggest difference on the wedding day, one of the most important days mm -hmm. of your life. Or if you're just a beauty therapy client and you just want to feel good about yourself from the inside out, whether you wear makeup every day or not. So we're very thankful for her. And it's such a bigger, larger picture than just a pair of lashes. What are a couple of things that we can do? Because some of us have to stay on medications whether we like it or not. What can we do to help counteract that? Well, the first thing you can do is drink enough nice filtered water. Water. It's a must. Watch my Hydration 101 video for that, guys. Thanks to her, we got that video filmed. Hashtag buy a Berkey water filter. It's yes. amazing. Uh -huh. And a Berkey shower filter for your skin. Your skin will thank you. I need to do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what's the second thing they can do? Just some simple tips for now. Eat plenty of healthy fats. Yes! yes. Okay. Healthy fats. What are they? Yes, tell it's me. It's not McDonald's. I'm not saying <laughs> eat all the fat. Grass-fed beef and butter, free-range mm -hmm. chicken and eggs, wild-caught cold-water fish like salmon, yeah. nuts other than peanuts. Oh no, peanuts! Seeds, uh huh. Coconut oil, avocados, 
all of those sorts of things. Fabulous. I don't know about you, but those are all things that I love. And again, we're going to talk more with Michelle about, uh, we're going to dig into all of those things as well. So that's fabulous. Okay. Thank you so much for being here, Michelle. You're welcome. As always, I like to end with a little wisdom food for thought. And whenever I have a guest, I always want the guest to share their wisdom. So Michelle, what do you got for us? Life's challenges are not supposed to paralyze you. They're supposed to help you discover who you are, which was said by Bernice Johnson Reagan. I love it. And she and I can tell you our stories one day because we've both been through quite a bit of things. Yes. And uh, I am thankful that God brought us together because we have a lot of fun and I get to do her makeup. And I love it when she does my makeup, <laughs> which is funny because I hardly ever wear makeup. It's true. Yes. It is true. We used to joke that her face was as pale as cooked chicken, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> anyway, thank you for tuning in, y'all. Remember, be you, be true, and love what you do. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.